almost, almost got it. Guys, this is the Velvet Ring by uh, Velvet Underground. Velvet Revolver. Velvet Ring by... Oh! By, by Big Thief. I was playing with you the whole time. Guys, such a fun time we have together where I pretend I don't know anything and you go, why am I watching this video? Okay, so this... You're gonna love playing this song. It is not as hard as it sounds, but, 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 but there is one thing. We're in open D tuning, so here's the deal. You gotta get your tuner, and I'll have to have my video where I show you how to do alternate tunings, but here's what open D tuning is. You have your top string tuned down to a D. Then have your second string from the top tuned down to an A. Your third string from the top remains its normal D. The third string, oh, excuse me, the third string from the bottom, you tune down a little bit to an F sharp. The second string from the bottom, you tune down to an A. And the bottom string, you tune down to a D. So just use your tuning app or tuner of choice, okay? You're gonna go into that tuning. I, like I said, there's a whole video. I'll put the thing up in the thing with the stuff to help you through this. You can do it. Get into this alternate open D tuning. It's very fun. You're gonna love it. Now, unfortunately, you also need to put a capo on the fifth. Is it the fifth fret or is it the fourth? I just spit on my guitar. Well, I need to check where the capo goes because I forget. Capo's on five, just like I said. And then now we're not gonna use a pick. We're just gonna use our fingers. Let's, the, the first part is the easiest, most fun part. So you play the top string open with your thumb. Great. Then you jump down to the third string from the top. You play that open with your thumb. Fantastic. Then with your pointer finger, play the third string from the bottom. So I'm just kind of grabbing the bottom of the string and doing this like trigger motion. I don't know how you pull a trigger. I imagine it's kind of like that. So I'm going thumb, thumb, finger. Then I'm going back to thumb on the third string from the top. So that's thumb, thumb, finger, thumb. Let's just do that a couple times just to get the juices flowing. Why did I say that? One, two, here we go. Thumb, thumb, finger, thumb. One more time, here we go. Thumb, thumb, finger, thumb. Okay, then after that, your middle finger plays the second to bottom string open. Then your thumb goes back to the third string from the top. And then your pointer finger plays the third from the bottom. And then your thumb plays a third from the top again. So that was thumb, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer, thumb. We're gonna be doing a lot of this. So get used to it, sweetheart. One, two, play it with me. And boom, 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 boom. Boom. See how this hand over here doesn't have to do anything, so it's being as lazy as possible. I'm like, it's just leaning against the chair. I'm, let's hang. Okay. So you do that once. You'll get faster at it, don't worry. Just pra practice this song extremely slowly at first. Okay. Then, after you do that once, put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the top string. It's the fourth fret from the capo. So, like, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. You're gonna play top string with fourth fret with your thumb. Then have your thumb jump down to the third string from the top, play it open. Pointer finger plays third from the bottom open. And then third thumb plays third from the top open. So that was top, thumb, pointer, thumb. Then move your finger to the fifth fret on the top string and do the exact same picking. Thumb, thumb, pointer, thumb. Guys. We have just learned the intro to the song. We have also learned what I'm going to affectionately call the main riff to the song, which is called Velvet Ring by Big Thief. I got it on my first try that time. Aren't you proud of me? Hello, my name's Stuart. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Please, I like, seriously, seriously, guys. I would like, I would like, like, I mean, I think it would be great if by the end of the day today, I got to 10 million subscribers. So, like and subscribe, share, engagement, uh, proactivity, um, Encyclopedia Brown. Just, just start saying random things. Um, let's play that whole thing, shall we? Very slowly. One, two, three, four. Then four. Then five. Oh. Then it starts over again. 
not too bad, right? I mean, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you can do it. So they do this three times in a row. But what I really want to do now is I want to see if we can get it the tiniest bit faster. The rhythm is not confusing. The rhythm is just just a constant, consistent rhythm. But we got to get it fast. We got to get the right string. So let's do it like this speed. Let's go boogie, bucky, ticky, tacky, bucky. Almost forgot. Bucky, bucka, ticky, tacky, waka, tuki, fourth fret, waka, do, fifth fret, bucky, poo. Great. You did a great job. We do that three times, like I said. Then to finish up the little main riff thing, we go like this. Play four on the second string from the top. You're going to play with your thumb. Play that note. Then you can use your thumb or your finger. It's up to you. I use thumb. I go thumb on that note. Then I go down to the third string from the top. Play that open. Then pointer finger plays the third string from the bottom open. And then back to third string from the top. So that was second from the top, third from the top, third from the bottom, back to third from the top. Then move your finger to the third fret. Do the exact same picking. Then go to the second fret. Do the same picking. Then to go to the first fret and do the same picking. So that is the intro. How about we play the intro all the way through? One, two, here we go. And oh, this is gonna take forever. Fourth fret, fifth fret. Oh, we started it over because we're doing it three times, remember? Fourth fret, fifth fret. Oh, this is the last time. Then here we go. Four on the second string, three, two, and you slow it down right here. There's a retardando where you just slow down the speed of the song, guys. We have now learned the intro. Um, should we learn the first verse? Oh, guess what? You already learned the first verse. It's literally the exact same thing. You do that main part three times, and then you go four, three, two, one. And shove the kitchen of a city tomb. What is... What in the... I have no idea what the song is about. All right. Second verse. Second verse is almost the same. You do that main, that main picking thing three times again, exactly the same. There's only one little difference. When we get to this part, instead of going four, three, two, one, we're going to go three, two, one, zero. Blast off. Let's do it. Here we go. And three, two, one, zero. So that's when she sings, and he was not the only one. Now, at this point in time, we're going to go on to the next section, but I'm going to stop the video first because I need to turn the page, but I don't want you to know that I have a little cheat sheet here that tells me the sections, so I'm just going to cut that part out. People of the world, friends and relatives, we have made it to the chorus of the song. I love this part, but it is, I have to confess, a kind of a difficult part of the song. It's kind of confusing. So you're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Okay? Okay? Then you're going to pinch together using your thumb and whatever finger you want. I use my pointer finger. You're going to pinch together the top string and the third string from the bottom, which is the string you're pushing on over here. You pinch them together. It sounds like this. It's a little, it's a little dissonant. It's cool though. So you pinch those together. Then your thumb plays a third string from the top. And then whatever finger you want, middle, pointer, ring, pinky, don't use your pinky. Any, but yeah, pretty essentially any finger you want. It's going to play the second string from the bottom open. What do I do? I use my middle finger. So I go pinch, thumb, middle on the second from the bottom. Then my thumb goes back up to the third from the top. So watch this. Watch, watch, watch. Just chop and watch. We go, no, no, no. We go, see what that was? It was pinch, thumb, middle thumb top and third from the bottom third from the top second from the bottom back to the third from the top we do that then you're gonna use your ring finger to play the third fret on the third string from the bottom and do the exact same picking then slide up to the fifth fret on the third string from the bottom do the exact same picking 
And then you can use either your ring finger or your pinky. I think I use ring finger. Go up to the seventh fret and do the same thing. So that was two, three, five, seven. Very pretty, right? When we get a little faster. V very cool. I mean, sorry. Very cool. Now, you're gonna stay on that seven with your ring finger, but with your pointer finger, play five on the top string. You might have to, the capo screws things up. One, two, three, four, five. It's right there, it's right there. You're gonna do the same picking. Then with your middle finger, play seven on the top string, but it looks like the 12th fret because of the capo situation. Do the same picking. Then you're gonna stretch down to four on the top string, do the same picking. Then you move back up to five on the top string and do the regular picking again. Okay, great, great. We're doing fine so far. Then here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna do the picking on five again. Go up to seven again. Down to four again. And then we go back to five and do the picking four times. One, two, three, four. That's how you count to four. And that's it for the chorus. Should we play the whole chorus all the way through? Let's do it. We'll do it slowly. One, two, here we go. And pinch. Three, five, seven, five on the top, seven on the top, four on the top, five on the top, stay there, five on the top, seven, four, then five, four times, two, three, four, great! Oh, so you guys, you did, you did so good. You were scared, but look at how well you did. See, you're growing up. You're you're doing great. Now, we go back to the verse. Verse is exactly the same as the other verses. We go. We do that three times, and then and then. Okay, so we do that three times, but then for the little descending part where we go. The way we're gonna do it this time is you're gonna play five on the second string, then four, then. Two, then one. I almost I got a little choked up there, you guys. Very emotional about the first fret. So, um, that's their little like twist they do is they just at the end of each verse they they throw us a little curveball on how they're gonna do the little thing. We are now at the final verse of the song. It starts off with the regular verse thing. I feel compelled to play it every time I say that. And then for our little descending thing, this time we're gonna go three, two, one, zero, but we're gonna do it two times. Oh, you weren't expecting that. I just wanna take you home is what they sing. Then we do the chorus again. I won't play it like that. So we do that whole chorus. Yours is thicker than a velvet ring, guys. I wonder what that means. I think it's dirty. I don't know. Then we get to the outro. Outro is kind of weird. The outro, we're gonna go like this. Middle finger, 15th, is that right? Yeah, 15th fret on the top. Oh shoot, the capo screws everything up. Look, here's the deal. It's the 15th fret of the actual guitar, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 from the capo. So whatever, however you wanna think of it. Middle finger right on that fret. Ring finger is gonna play the same fret on the third string from the bottom. Pinky plays the same fret on the second string from the bottom. You're going to pinch together the top string and the second string from the bottom. Then your thumb jumps down to the third string from the top. So it's like that. We're going pinch, thumb. I, you see how I just checked out right here? So we got pinch, thumb. We're gonna do that one, two, three, four, five, six times, six times. Then take the same exact shape, move it one, two frets over. So now you're on like 17th fret of the guitar, or I guess like 12th fret from the capo, and do the same thing twice. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. At this point in time, you're gonna go to the fourth fret on the top string. You're gonna go like this. 
So that was just thumb on the top, then you go boom, bang, boom, that same thing we've been doing the whole time. Then go to the fifth fret and go. So it's four, five. Then we're gonna go, let's see. Then you're gonna go like this. You're gonna go. It's that same, it's that same picking pattern we were doing. It's top string, third from the top, pointer finger, back to third from the top, second from the bottom, then boom, bam, boom. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm just pretty much done, okay? And then if you want, every once in a while they go like this and play the bottom string. So the outro is like, um, It's something like that. And then you probably just end it by going, strumming the open strings. They have a whole big, like, weird, ethereal, cosmic outro that we're not going to do. We're done. Bye. Bye. Have a good time. See you when you get back.